What's going on guys? Spilly here again today. Um, just kind of want to start off this video by saying uh, sorry it's been a good while since I put out a review or anything. Um, I've been on a trip. I haven't really had a ton to review. There's nothing that's really been you know like out there to review um, that I've come across or even been able to you know like purchase or anything. Um, but uh, today I have brought to you a little something. I also have one planned as well. I never really thought about doing a review over it because it's not really an FPS mice, mouse, which is kind of what I specialize in. But I do play um, MMOs, things, other things from time to time. Um, and I do have a Corsair Scimitar, which is actually kind of asked about a lot. Um, so I'll probably end up doing a review over that one at some point. Um, you know, sorry, I, like, I'm going to try and definitely put out more content. Um, I, I aim to, you know, put out at least, you know, not maybe not daily stuff, but, you know, at least a couple things a week would be would be awesome. Um, still working on probably trying to get somebody to do an intro for me, uh, as well as I need to upgrade my webcam really badly. I've kind of been looking into the Razer Stargazer, but um, maybe just go with another Logitech C910, because um, the Stargazer is going to be, like, pretty expensive. It's going to be, like, over $200, I think. Uh, but, yeah, um, so after this review, uh, probably going to see a Corsair Scimitar review. Uh, and then after that, probably be looking forward to a Final Mouse 2016 Scream 1 edition. Um, there's a few that I've looked at other than that, but those are the kind of the ones that I'm looking at getting into. Also, if you know if you are one of the regulars on this channel, which <laughs> there aren't many of you, uh, possibly you know throw in a comment of what you'd like to see on this channel. Uh, I'm definitely by far the best at Counter-Strike, but I do play quite a few other games. So if you want to see some like Counter-Strike tips and tricks, uh, gameplay, um, some little frag highlights, anything things like that, I do play at like a global elite level in MM, um, anywhere from about 13 to 15 RWS and ESEA, uh, different things like that. Um, but yeah, just let me know, leave a comment, um, be sure to, and uh, I'll, I'll be happy to put any of that content out there. Um, but yeah, so let's hop right into it. I got this from Master Up. That's why it kind of took a while to came in, come in rather. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty cool so far and uh, just got it in. It is the Myonix Avior SK edition, which is the Avior uh, 7000, but in uh, SK Team edition. Um, there is the AVR 8200. Don't be fooled by that one. That one has a laser sensor. Laser not always is not always bad. There's tons of people that use laser. Um, it's just usually considered that optical is a little bit more um, real reliable and usually has a little bit better tracking uh, than laser does. So uh, yeah, let's hop right into it. Let's take a look here. Uh, there was no tape on the box, which was kind of weird to me out. Uh, I didn't need to cut it or anything. It just kind of slipped out of this package. And I don't know if, I hope I didn't get like a used one already or something, or like a refurb, but I guess as long as it plays fine, that's not a huge deal. Um, so yeah, straight out of the box. Sorry, there's like a really terrible, it's, it, it's, it's daylight savings time. It, or well, it just switched, so it's like actually light outside when I get home still now. So there's like a really bad glare, even though I like turn up my blinds. But yeah, so as you can see, there's a little... SK Team Edition right there. Um, pretty basic packaging, nothing crazy, looks nice. So yeah, let's take it straight out. So yeah, straight out of the box, here it is right here. Um, Looks to be new. I don't see any like scuffs or anything on it. Everything looks good. Yeah, um, it almost feels a little bit heavy. Um, I'm not sure what the weight is of this. I don't have a scale. I need to check online maybe. Uh, but yeah, it has a pretty, pretty good shape to it. Um, definitely feel like this is catered to claw grip. I feel like this might be a little weird to palm. Um, doesn't have, even though it's ambidextrous, which ambidextrous is usually pretty good about this, but it doesn't have a super safe shape. Um, it's kind of long and low, if that makes sense. It's a pretty long mouse. I should be like rocket and actually grab a ruler and measure it out. But it's a little, it's pretty long and pretty, it's very like thin height wise. Um, 
if that's... Hmm. I'm going to have to give this some gameplay to see if I like that or not. Um, luckily, I only paid $30 for this mouse because it was on a sick deal on Mouse Trap. Um, but yeah, uh, mouse feet look good. It actually has some nice big mouse feet, which is something I like. Um, that's that's definite plus. Uh, let's talk about a few, a few of the other things, though. Uh, right off the bat, the, um, the mouse side mouse buttons, um, they're a pretty good size. That's actually about perfect size, I think. Um, they're not really big like the Rival, which I don't really like, and they're not really small like my FK1. Um, now that I look at it on my EC2A, they're almost about the same size as my EC2A. Um, let's take a... That's the side buttons. A uh, good, good amount of tactile feedback. Um, they feel pretty good. I like them. Um, they're not really mushy like my EC2A. Um, and not really stiff. They, they feel pretty nice. Uh, let's move on to the other ones, and probably one of the more important is the mouse 1, mouse 2. Hmm. A little bit softer than my EC2A. Definitely not as soft as like the G303 or one of those types of mice. Even maybe like the caster might be quite a bit more easier to press down, but it's still very easy. Still not very hard. Um, Mouse 2 has a similar feel. Um, very close. Definitely not too different. The big flaw in my caster is I didn't really like the scroll wheel. Let's see how this one feels. Definitely not. A, it, I actually kind of really like it. It's, it's kind of in the middle. Um, not too much feedback like the G303 where it's like really stiff or even like my um, EC2A um, which is kind of like I don't know it's it's definitely not the best scroll wheel I've ever used even though the mouse is amazing the scroll wheel is kind of its flaw um, it feels in the middle which actually feels pretty good I'll definitely have to give it some gameplay to see how it feels exactly um, other than that you have I believe two DPI buttons I think there are two DPI buttons there's two separate ones um, they both feel pretty good, very tactile. Um, another thing, big braided cord. Eh. Once again, no, no. Um, doesn't seem super stiff, but just a braided cord. Um, you guys know how I feel about it. Most of the mouse people are going to know how you feel about this. They just aren't the best. Um, I would much rather have a non-braided cord. They don't get as stiff. They aren't as heavy. Um, yeah, not, not a game, not a game breaker, but definitely not my favorite thing ever. Um, other than that, I'm trying to think if there's anything I missed. Uh, it does have a 3310 sensor in it, um, which is, is one of the, definitely one of the top of three sensors out there right now. I would say it probably goes, and I'm not talking really like variations like the 3989 and the 3988. Uh, my, my, um, personal top three right now would probably be, and this is going to come as a surprise to you, a lot of you guys, I would actually put the 3988 as the number one sensor out there right now. Um, it just feels very crisp and snappy. That being said, I cannot find an, itera an iteration of that mouse that I actually want, um, that fits my hand, and I, I just can't. I tried the Death Adder. Um, I've tried a couple others that have the 3988 or 3989, which the 3989 is just the death adder. Um, and I could not find an iteration of it that I liked. Number two is going to be the 3360 or the 3366. Um, it's basically just the successor to the 3310. Pretty much enough said there. It's just a all around better 3310. And then the 3310. Um, still great. Most people could even use a downgrade from this and never notice a difference. Um, so yeah, pretty much any one of those three sensors, even the slightly lower ones, all just spot on, all great. Um, you can make some of them spin out, do some little things like that, but it's it's very hard. Uh, but yeah, overall, um, I'm definitely looking forward to getting a little bit more time in with this because it does have an odd shape for being ambidextrous, that how being so thin while also being somewhat long. Um, so definitely gonna have to see about that a little bit um, but yeah um, overall it definitely looks like a beautiful mouse it feels really nice um, 
it's a it's a kind of slicked plastic on all sides, um, but it definitely feels really nice. Um, I'm gonna have to maybe try and like I'm gonna have to probably try and claw grip at something like this. That's that's what f at least without being on the mouse pad feels the most comfortable to me right now. Um, but yeah, uh, if there's any other questions about it or anything you guys want to know, uh, like I said, I definitely look to be um, putting out more content or anything like that. So just definitely just shoot me a comment, tell me what you'd like to see. Um, once again, I'd really like to, if any of you guys know a good editor or anything like that, they can put me together an intro for my videos. That's something I've definitely been looking for. Um, obviously, I can pay money if, if need be. Um, not that that's that's of no concern really. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to put anything else out there that you want to see reviewed. Um, I do have some more items like a few headsets, mechanical keyboards, things like that, um, as well as look for that Corsair Scimitar review within the next couple of days. Uh, as always guys, it's been Spilly um, with another mouse review. Uh, you guys have a good one. Let me know if you have anything else.